All right, you guys, so we are going to finalize this Elite Lift measuring tape. I want to say that this tape is awesome, you guys. This measuring tape is awesome. Only thing that it don't do is uh, tell you your measurements when you, you know, pull out your tape. But you don't really need that if you got the laser. But let's say if you're in daylight, you're in a construction site, then you can't see a laser, then, of course, you'll need your measuring tape. But keep in mind, it's only a 16 foot measuring tape so you know i don't know if that's a make it or break it type of deal with you all right you guys so we are going to go over the functions of this measuring tape now right here is to change your unit of measure so we're going to turn it around and just hit the button all right so right there it's, it does two things you could change your unit of measure and you could change it change if you want to measure in the front of the measuring tape or the back of the measuring tape so you see that right there on the top right so we always measure on the back of the measuring tape. If you're not the type that measure on the back of the measuring tape, on the back right here, it lets you know the size of the measuring tape. Let me give you all some more light. All right, so right there, it lets you know three inches, and that's the distance with the measuring tape. So if you ever measure uh, with the back part being on the measuring, uh, being on the wall, then you know this is your three inches you just have to add. Okay, now your measuring tape do have two sides of numbers, so that's amazing right there. So you have the numbers on this side and then you have numbers on that side. All right, let me get back to what I was doing now. To do your units of measure, let me tap this again, focus, all right. So to do your units of measure, you will have to hold that button. I use inches and feet. You all right, I'm gonna put it back, all right. We measure in square foot. If you're a homeowner, most of the time you need square footage. You may need parameter every once in a while, maybe for like trim or something like that. But for the most part, you need square footage because you're either doing flooring, painting and stuff like that. When you paint the wall, you need to know the square footage of your wall because it tells you the square footage on a gallon of paint or how much square footage it covers. So for the most part, we need square footage. And to do square footage, you do uh, length times your width. And this will calculate it for you. So we'll get to that. Up top is your sound on and sound off and how you want to measure. So right there you have your Pelagrian measurement if you need to. You have a straight measure. So if you just want to measure straight, you can do that right there. It's a straight line. So it just one measure and that's it. So if you want to measure, you can hit your measure button so you could get your light on and you see the light. And right now I'm just going to go ahead and hit measure once. And right there it let me know it's 6.27 feet. So we just say six foot if you want to round it down or round it up. That's up to y'all. With the general room of home ownership and DIY, you always just want to add up or add your extra 10% of material you need. Now, Sorry about that. Let me go back right here. This is to get your your unit right there. So right there you have a square. I believe that's parameter right there. All right. So we are going to test that out right now. I'm just going to measure from here to the wall, which is eight foot. Then I'm going to do here which is six foot. Oh, and they did the square footage for us. So with that being said, there go your square footage and the LED goes off. I believe I could leave LED on. I will double check that, but that's it for your square footage. So the square right there is square footage. Let me hit the button. So the square right there is square footage, all right? You have one measurement, two measurements, and it multiplies it for you. And Right here is your square area as far as footage. So if you measure right there, got that measurement, our eight foot, we have our six foot. Now you see it didn't calculate nothing now. Now I'm just gonna measure from the ceiling from here. And there goes your uh, footage as far as your uh, area goes. So you get your area right there, it says F to the third right there. I'm just gonna go over all this just showing y'all all the measurements, straight line again. Now, another cool thing with this, we're gonna go back to our functions. We almost done, you guys. Now you have your plus and your minus. Amazing, this is a game changer right here. 
You do not need your phone no more. You do not need a pencil, paper, or the stress of your brain. You have it all right here. So if you want to add, I'm doing a straight line right now. Uh, let's go ahead. All right, so we have, so you have your eight foot. If you press your plus, now let me go here. I just had to see it real quick. I'm gonna press plus, right? And then I will click right here. And it adds it for you, you guys. It adds it for you. This is amazing, all right? Now if I wanna hit plus again, Okay, oh, that's minus. I'm going to hit the button again for plus. You hit the button for minus, and you hit the button for plus. And I want to add this side. And there you go. So you can keep hitting plus, and you could keep hitting minus, however you want to measure your distance or whatever. It does all the calculations right here. All right? Oh, right here. You have your off right here. You can hit off or if you want to get rid of all your measurements right there you got clear so you can just go ahead and hit the clear button and clear everything it clears one at a time but it clears everything you guys so you actually can go back if you messed up a measurement with the clear button let's say you want to add square footage all right you guys so sorry to inform you but it says right here the back light turns off uh it's like programmed for 15 seconds, so there's nothing here to keep the LED on. All right, so you have single measurement that this thing can do, and you have continuous measurement, which I didn't mention to y'all. So single measurement will be, you know, just that one press. I'm gonna hold it down for continuous. So continuous is just letting you know each measurement. So if you don't feel like keep hitting the button, like tap, 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 you have, you can do it like this and it will make your noise and you can see whatever your measurement is here and you can turn it here. You can see your measurement right there. It's about 12 foot. You can put it right here. Now this is for the people that does quick measurements. So if you want to measure quick, maybe you have somebody who has a calculator you can go ahead and tell them and they could jot everything down in the calculator and that will be quicker if that's quicker for y'all you guys we went over most of this stuff i don't do the other measurements okay i'm just a regular homeowner you guys i don't measure the angles and all that i don't need all that i just need my square footage and call it a day maybe a parameter so y'all see right there there goes the equal button right there all right we are going to measure our area for the last time right there i'm on my square just to show y'all bow right there all right now we're going to go hit measure there measure there now we're going to hit our plus and minus so y'all see right there we had 90. we're going to do plus and minus or oh, is that plus now we're going to do that again All right, now we got 86. Y'all know I'm just randomly measuring. Now we're gonna hit equals. Boom. It did it, you guys. It did it. Amazing, all right? So that's how you measure uh, or how you add your area from one room to another and add it all together. You don't need pencil and paper. If there was a way to uh, leave the screen on you guys trust me i will revert back and let y'all know how to leave this screen on or the best button to press to not change anything on here but the light the backlight is an awesome thing to have if it was on other than that you guys that will be it with this measuring tape i do recommend this measuring tape you guys link will be in the description to the measuring tape to uh, the mics that I use, the camera that I use, everything that I use, I will put a link in the description. And yeah, if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, please put it in the comment section and I will 
catch back up with y'all as soon as possible. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.